we go to great levels to design food that tastes amazing. I kind of wish the whole weight loss industry would go away. Food addictions are so common today that people aren't even aware they're addicted. 99% of diets don't work. The American diet is just slowly killing us. It is a yo-yo, it is a trap. It's important to lose weight, not only in ways that help us lose weight, but in ways that don't mortgage our health. Our problem is not deficiency. Our problem right now is overnutrition. We're eating too much and we're eating too much of the wrong thing. Sugar isn't health food, but the idea that that's the whole problem with the diet is really not correct. They persecute people because there's a lot to be lost. There's a lot of money to be lost. 70% of Americans are either obese or overweight. After watching documentaries, they realize, oh my goodness, you know, diet is a large factor in heart disease. Why are we still eating this stuff? We're eating this stuff because the industry wants us confused. If you mess up and you eat terribly for a good long time and you end up with cancer, you don't always get the chance to just change your diet and make it all go away. It's confusing to people. People want simple answers, and the truth is it is simple. For the first time in human history, obesity is a symptom of poverty. The more you eat of that, you become overfed and undernourished. If you're only focusing on the short term, then you're gonna be misled every single time. You cannot out-exercise a bad diet. You are not the victim of your genetics. You are simply a victim of what you decide to put on your plate. If we don't go back and start talking about what it is that we're eating and what's happening to our hearts because of it, we're gonna lose the game. Don't be a sucker. These companies do not have your best interest in heart. We could put America on the trajectory of real health, but there's so much money to be made in sickness. What better thing to get fanatical and radical and extreme about than your health? And saying, you know what? God, I stand for something.